delighted to have with me Arbroath manager Jim McIntyre. Jim, no, no. With Area United, could you give us your initial thoughts, please? I thought the, it was a bit of a war of attrition, uh, the game itself. I didn't think there was a lot of quality in the first half. Uh, I thought it was two sides who looked desperate for the points and we didn't produce that much quality. Uh, again, we have been hampered with, obviously, new signings arriving. We had a really positive day yesterday. You know, we made three signings, four signings, sorry. And, you know, we're looking forward to the game. We've got a healthier bench. We've got some options at my disposal. And then within uh, 10 minutes, we're having to change plans again. And then there's other disruptions within the game. And it's very difficult when you, you get that thrown at you. So we had to adapt. And yet again, the boys dug in magnificently, you know. I don't think we had our best quality today. I uh, think the boys would be the first to admit that. We could have made better choices. Uh, but we had to deal with the adversity of losing players. And again, we end up with three midfielders in the back four and a left back playing centre back. So uh, to pick up a point, I'm proud of the players and, and how they've went about it today. They dug in. and. We got had a wee bit of luck at times. Obviously, they've hit the post and uh, had another chance. Uh, but equally, it's a stonewall penalty for us. Uh, the referee doesn't think it's a penalty because the man's on already on the ground. But for me, he's used his body to try and get in the way of uh, Stoey getting a shot away. So for me, it's a penalty. How, how just looking into you, Jim? How do you feel when Jacques Delaney? five minutes goes down and injured How, what's, what's your thinking at this point you must uh, be gutted you must be banging your head off the wall here yeah I think gutties have a great word you know and you, I'm obviously one I'm really disappointed for the player first and foremost desperate he was desperate to come here as soon as we made contact was right up for it and that's the type of boys we want at our growth you know because not everybody wants to come to a part time club but when people come here and they see how good a club we are then they know they're part of a proper club. So I was really disappointed for him, disappointed for the team, and then we have to do a wee bit of a reshuffle, and then we get more injuries. Uh, and it, it, it's just one thing after another. I mean, it, we're going through a really tough period with, uh, with what's been going on injury-wise. Uh, and as I say, yesterday was a bright day, and you think you've turned the corner, and you, we hope to add a couple of more as well. Uh, but we're right back to square one. So the boys will go and get assessed uh, and hopefully there's nothing too sinister with the injuries and with a bit of, bit of luck, they might be back uh, for the next game. And, and you spoke, you touched on it earlier, you must have been delighted with the effort from the boys. That's never been in question for the day I walked in the door. You know, there's been a lot thrown at them in terms of having to play out of position. And I've mentioned this numerous occasions. I feel like a broken down record. But they deserve great credit because it's not easy to play a position that you're unfamiliar with. Uh, but to a man, they just keep trying to do their best. And I think as a manager and a coach, you, that's all you can ask. When you're asking somebody to play an unfamiliar pos position and step in and, and try and still get a result, you know, they can be they can be pleased with their their efforts today. I thought young McKinnon done well second half. He looked a bit nervous to start, but he came on a good second half. Yeah, he's a he's a young lad who I know from his time at Montrose. Uh, I actually wanted to take him to Cove Rangers as well, but uh, he stayed at Montrose and done very well that season. Uh, he just needs game time, you know, and it and it's same for Kyle. Kyle's not played in a couple of months. Gordon Walker's the same. And that's what happens when, when you're getting players in the January window. It's generally players that have, maybe in the case of the Irish boys, their season finished a wee while ago. So they're, they're going to take a few weeks to get up to speed. But we don't have the time to bed them in. We need to get them in and get them playing and get them up to speed as quick as possible. And it's the it's the same for Adam as well. He's not played in a long time. So uh, he had quite a few games called off in his last loan spell at Barora. So... He'll get better and better, but I thought second half, yes, you know, he's seen a few nerves in the first half, but 
he grew into the game and grew in stature and and, and really helped us out in a period where we were, we were having to defend. Jim, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.